You're listening to the best of the Jim Rome Show, hosted by Travis Rogers on Premier Radio Networks. Good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of the best of the Jim Rome Show. My name is Travis Rogers. Thanks for checking us out today. Uh, you may know that I produce this program on uh, on most days, but every once in a while on a best of day, I get to come into the other side of the little uh, two-room uh, combination we have here and talk for a few minutes and introduce some of the better bits that we have had over the last few weeks and months. This one is still one that blows me away. Cough, the cockfighting across America foundation, the bogus foundation that Jim wanted to start to help promote education and kids staying in school and general well-being of society through taking children to cockfights. And believe it or not, some people believed it as hard as that is to believe that uh someone like jim who has done literally countless hours of radio speaking out against things that are patently ridiculous believed that he would then turn around and in the very next breath support cockfighting as a way to help disadvantaged children really a cockfight really is a great way to say to a child that you care <laughs> Anyway, we're going to get started with what else? Cockfighting. You're listening to the best of the Jim Rome Show. If you're joining us late, I've announced I've started a foundation. My wife has been on me to give back, to do more, to have a foundation. I've been looking for the right thing, the right cause to throw in with, and there's a lot of things that interest me. But I just look around the neighborhoods and I see kids making poor choices, getting into trouble, drugs, gangs, crime. And it wasn't until I heard that soundbite from Roy Jones that it got me to thinking. Cockfighting. Roy said it best. It kept me out of trouble. It allows us to focus on something positive. So it got me to thinking about a foundation. Cockfights across America. Jim Rome here. If you're anything like me, crime, drugs, and the deterioration of America's youth are keeping you up at night. With your help, along with Cockfights Across America, or cough, we can help troubled children. Keep them off the streets by taking a youngster in your community to a local cockfighting parlor. Restore a young person's hope. When they see one razor blade strapped rooster carve another into a thousand bloody pieces right before your eyes, cockfighting has already saved hundreds of lives and you too can be a part of the solution to a very big problem. Centers are springing up across the country thanks to COF, Cockfights Across America Foundation. Make the world a better place. Take a youngster to a gambling parlor fueled with bloodlust and mayhem. Thank you for your support. Our children thank you. I thank you. The roosters thank you. Cockfights Across America Foundation. Saving one life, one bloody rooster at a time. It's so weird when you give back how much better you feel about yourself, too. Cock! Thank you, Alvin. We'll have a website set up for that in a minute. For your donations. Hey, roosters don't grow on trees. Neither do razor blades used to kill those roosters. We'll have a website up for your donations momentarily. I haven't been listening to you all that long, but uh, I can't believe you're talking about this cockfighting stuff. You know, they, they fight to the death. They don't just fight. Right. I do, don't you think that's disgusting for kids to see? No, not at all. What's the what's it's a the point? Ridiculous, I think. Ridiculous? 
You're calling my, you're ridiculous. calling me wanting to give something back to the community ridiculous. It how, be how is trying to help right. kids ridiculous? Let me ask you that. You shouldn't even be allowed to talk about that. How is kids trying... watching fighting to the death? You're crazy, man. Tony, Tony, I'm not crazy, by the way. What I'm asking you is, how is helping kids ridiculous? If that's ridiculous, then yeah, I'm ridiculous. That's not helping kids. It's hurting them, Rome. And he shouldn't be talking about it on the radio, man. Tony, I think you're missing the point. All right, first of all, I don't want you telling me what I should and should not be talking about on the radio. First and foremost, listen, I have children. I'm not telling you how to raise children without having children. I have children. I've got a five-year-old. I've got a two-year-old. And we spend time at the cockfights. And I'm here to tell you, one day my kids will sit with me and they will thank me for it. And they will say, hey, Dad, you know what meant more to me than anything growing up? You taking us to the cockfights. You know, and I'll tell you something else. I'm going to pass this down from generation to generation. I'm going to take my kids to the cockfights. And they're going to take their kids to the cockfights. And you know what? The freaking Rome family is the one family in America you're not going to have to worry about. What do you get off telling me that that's inhumane? Of course they fight to the death. It's like a rooster thunderdome. Two go in, one comes out. And I'll tell you something else, Tony, that you don't understand. Have you ever seen the look on a kid's face when they first learn how to read? I have. And it's nothing compared to the look on their face and the look they have in their eyes when they see their first cockfight. Do you know what it means to a kid and how a kid looks? When they see that one rooster peck that other rooster to death for the first time? Why well, have? I speak from experience. Sort of like that look on a kid's face on Christmas morning. All right, so don't you be dogging something that you don't know anything about. Of course they fight to the death. He said, do you know? Do you know they fight to the death? Yes, I know they fight to the death. I'm not going to sacrifice the purity of a sport that's been banned in 49 states by putting gloves on the roosters. I'm not going to sacrifice the purity of the sport, and especially if I'm helping kids while I'm doing it. And I'll tell you something else, Tony. It's not just the cockfighting, all right? You're looking at that in a vacuum, and you're missing the point, by the way. It's not just the cockfighting. It's the gambling. It's the drinking. It's the smoking. It's the drug usage. The fights between the people attending. Oh, but I'm wrong. But it's disgusting. But you don't want to expose kids to it. I mean, what a... Am I the only one who gets this? I feel like I'm banging my head against the wall here. You know what? You go ahead. You take your kids to the library, to the museum, to Major League Baseball games. Damn it, I'm taking my kids to the cockfights. Are you with me? Who's with me? By the way, most people listening agree with me. Most clones agree with me. The fact that it's been banned everywhere but Louisiana is not going to take me off this point. Nor is your opinion that, quote, is disgusting and I've got no business being on the radio talking about it. I got news for you. All those roosters, if they live, nobody learns a lesson. Nobody's better for it. All right, look, I'm not going to tell you you have to agree with me. And I'm not saying that there's not a place for, for you to tell me that I'm wrong. But there's no place for you to tell me that I'm wrong here. And I'm willing to say that if there are two and a half million people listening right now, that it's pretty much Tony against all of them. Who, who doesn't see that? Who doesn't agree with that? Who doesn't want to help kids? Who doesn't think that's a good way to help kids? I mean, Tony, come on now. Apology accepted. Look, you're not taking me off this point. I've got a plan. I've got a dream. I will make a difference. I will not be deterred. You're listening to The Jim Rome Show.